Hi everyone, this is Brian. I'm a professional web developer and I want to show off some of the reasons why I use SQL YAG as my MySQL frontend. I deal with database interaction all day long across a number of MySQL instances and uh, to be frank, uh, SQL YAG saves me a ton of time and is really the reason why I choose MySQL in the first place for my project. So I'm going to go over uh, some of what I feel are the highlights of this application. So this is the SQL YAG interface. We see we have a connection bar at the top showing the current active connections. We have a browser section on the left showing uh, databases, tables, store procedures, etc. in each of those connections. A area on the right allowing us to define SQL and a results section at the bottom showing the results of the SQL we just executed. Now you notice that the staging and production connections at the top are color coded. This is a huge feature. Um, I've color coded all my staging environments green and all my production environments red. And this allows me to very easily distinguish between which is which so that I don't accidentally make a change on my production environment when I should be working on my staging environment. Now let me show you the connection manager here. This is a list of all the connections that I've populated in SQL YAG. Now you can connect to an SQL uh, instance using standard uh, port 3306, but um, SQL YAG offers a really cool feature called SSH tunneling. Now if you have a, a Unix server that currently does not expose MySQL to the public, you can tunnel through a console connection in order to access uh, the MySQL instance and it will look uh, seamless in SQL YAG. You won't even notice that you're not, you don't have a direct connection. So that feature is really cool for those using uh, Unix servers. Now I am obsessed with backups. Uh, I make a backup of my production database before I make any changes. And uh, SQL YAG makes that process very easy. So I'm going to uh, backup my production database as an SQL file. And you see here it selects everything within that database and I'm going to overwrite and that's it. Now I have a uh, SQL file containing all the commands necessary to recreate that production database in case anything goes wrong. Now finally we want to synchronize our production database with our staging database. You see we have the new table that we've defined in staging which does not exist in production. Uh, SQL YAG provides a really good tool for maintaining uh, the synchronization between multiple databases, and that's the schema synchronization tool. We're going to use the staging as a source and the production as our target and allow SQL YAG to compare the two. It's going to have identified that the new table exists in staging and not in production and has generated the SQL required to create that table. But I just want to allow SQL YAG to create that table for me, so I'm going to click Execute All. Now we see if we go to our production database and refresh, now the new table has been created. Uh, I use this uh, quite often when doing development updates from my staging environment over to my production environment. I hope that you found this presentation helpful and I recommend that you download SQL YAG a free trial and uh, give it a try yourself.